watched together as new pages were added to the long and glorious story of college football. 1983 was a memorable year, a year of remarkable athletes and record-breaking performances. Nebraska, with its high-scoring offense, was always number one, and that was expected. Mike Rozier was favored for the Heisman Trophy, and he, too, was never caught from behind. But 1983 also had its share of surprises, some unusual plays, and a few unexpected turnovers. She takes a snap back, goes back, big rush, he slips, starts to run, goes to the goal line. He did a somersault into the end zone. You can't win. For some, the key to success was a snap decision that set mighty forces into motion and forced the defense to think on the run. But the element of surprise also worked for the defense especially those trained to stop a play before it can get started. Then there are the special teams, those gutsy players who are always eager to see action and stand ready to come off the bench at a moment's notice. The only thing I could really see was a goal line, and I knew I had a touchdown. And then when, this, when it happened, it was like a big shot to me. I tried to walk off without them, you know, noticing me, but uh, my teammates was coming up, shaking my hand, and... Uh, the guy was pointing at me, so everything gave me away. Speaking of booted plays, watch how one receiver snatched victory from the heels of defeat. Others celebrated the holiday season a little early, this exchange of gifts. And even teams that couldn't buy a break bounced into the win column. Well, one team that had been expected to win, Oklahoma, met only with despair as their number one player, Marcus Dupree, decided he'd sooner be at home. But at Pitt, it was a walk-on who earned Poj Fazio's faith and worked this last-second miracle of redemption. High snap, ball on the tee, the kick is up. It's long enough! It's high enough! And the kick is good! A walk-on! Pat the encore! Wins the football game for Pitt! And so it was, a year seasoned with emotion, spiced with celebration, and tempered by frustration. It was a human drama, but still, only a game. The time has come to close the book on yet another chapter, the 115th in the history of the grand old game. Come September, a new chapter will unfold, and CBS Sports will be there to share it with you. And from all of us on the NCAA today, we would like to wish each of you a very happy 1984. Thank you to this exceptional young man from Camden, New Jersey, Mike Rozier. Mike, with your outstanding achievements this season, it really came as no surprise to me that you have been chosen to receive this prestigious award. Your efforts throughout your career have indirectly helped further the education of other deserving students at your university because of the scholarship contributions to the University of Nebraska's General Scholarship Fund. And in so doing, set a standard of leadership in your pursuit of excellence that is an inspiration to all of us. So in recognition of your achievements, Mike, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to come here today on behalf of Chevrolet to present this trophy to you as the most valuable offensive player in college football this season. Congratulations, Mike. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. I'm honored to receive this award from Chevrolet. If it wasn't for my mother's support and my team effort, none of this would be possible. I share this with them and always will be grateful. Mike, you are most deserving of this award. And I should add that the trophy will be inscribed with your name and will go on display permanently at the College Football Hall of Fame at Kings Island, Ohio. Again, Mike, congratulations and continued success. There's a special place where a dad can look back and a kid can right. look ahead together with lots to see, lots to do, lots to share, and all with the same college spirit that's been running through America's veins since the pigskin first floated across a crisp October Saturday. It's the College Football Hall of Fame in Kings Island, Ohio, and it's something special.